Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. So did you guys see the video where I was talking about married couples and partners gossiping about each other? I know that, you know, it's hard for us to admit this, but this is where we start recognizing that we have flaws. And if you ever wanted to start doing or you're working on self-development, then you would own that part of you because you know when you get into the relationship aspect a lot of times people are blaming other people and the blame just goes back and forth and I ask those that I work with in my classes where is the solution of course I'm a solution based type of individual but sometimes people don't see that there's a solution they think that the person that they're with is the problem when it's something inside of us that is the problem it could go back as far as childhood adolescence where someone made us feel insignificant and so we're talking about our partner's flaws or the person that we said we love that person that we took vows with and then my question today would be, did your vows mean anything to you if you are talking about your partner? When we look at partnerships and marriages, even back into antiquity, what happened was they had diaries to connect families that had, you know, um, the bill of success or finances on them to keep that status going. Now, I'm not talking about status, but I'm talking about status in the you know, um, finances. I'm talking about creating a wealthy status for our children because we have so many children that are being misled and uh, neglected due to emotional instability in our family. So in order for us to get a cap on that, we need to talk with parents and ask them why they disrespect their spouses. And when we come back with the answer, that's where we can get the, the solution that's going to solve a problem with our whole family. Of course, this is a, a topic that will go on and on, but there's a, a need to look at parents because some parents don't know why they had a child. And in the midst of having a child, they're arguing with their partner or spouse about what the child needs and not looking at the child's needs. Now that's an example, but it's the truth. There's no solution. There's separation everywhere. Children are going astray. So you talk to me, tell me what you think. Because when I see a partner or a, 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 you know, a spouse or you know someone talking about their spouse, I, I just look at it as they're talking about themselves. I've been there, done that. But someone is always going to learn so that they can bring the truth forward. And what is the truth in you? What, what do you really want to do with your life is the answer. What do you want to do in your relationship? Did you set goals? Oh, I have a book called Dance With Your Partner, Not Their Confusion. On Amazon, you can order it. So talk to me. Tell me what you can do to change that if that is you if you're the one talking about your spouse or if it's going back and forth and to help change the dynamics of your children if you have no children that's fine but you're still doing damage to each other how can you help heal you and them how can they heal you how can they heal themselves first we heal ourselves by recognizing that in us first all right so god bless have a wonderful day